Okay. All right. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hello, Opie. Blessings, blessings of the Lord be upon you and your house. Blessed morning to you as well. Running right just a few minutes late here, but we are here and alive. Please share the broadcast, like it and share it. Be a blessing to somebody. All right, be a blessing, be a blessing. Let's do that. Hello world, here we come with the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Man, I'm excited. Happy Monday, happy Monday to you and your loved ones, wherever you want the sound of my voice. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and we will continually rejoice in and be glad in it. Come on, join the happy people on earth. <laughs> Join us to rejoice and be glad in that which the Lord has done. All right, be a blessing. Share it to your friends and loved ones. Put it on your platforms and all other places. And be a blessing. Be a blessing to, to the world. Be a blessing to the world by sharing. Like it and share it. All right, let me do, let me do such. Like it and share it. Like it and share the broadcast. All right to your friends and loved ones be a blessing to somebody sharing is good all right sharing is a good thing and so we share because god is good sharing nothing but god is good let me send a shout of blessings to you michael i send a shout of blessings to you and your house sending a shout of blessings to you out there please share it and like it be a blessing to somebody we're going to be talking about something very interesting today and so um it's my sincere prayer that you have your bibles and your your notepads and pens and you know write down these notes and um um let me hear your comments as well all right i want to hear your comments very important I want to hear your comments and so please be a blessing by doing that i want to hear your comments as well okay Thank you, thank you, OP, for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Want to hear your comments? This is very important. It's very, very important that I hear your comments. And also, if you'll be kind to, you know, let me know uh, where you are coming in or where you are located, that would be a blessing as well. That would be a blessing to you. So please, um, you know, participate. Participate in this broadcast. Um, I'm doing the talking, doing the presentation, but uh, let me know what you think as well. Very, very important. Today, I want us to talk about, I want us to talk about the challenges, the challenges that Christians face in, with evangelism. The challenges, the challenges of Christians with evangelism. The challenges of Christians with evangelism. Now, you, you, um, Kojo, I send a shout of blessings to you from Ghana. You in Ghana, God bless you out there. Uh, Michael, I send a shout of blessings to you. I uh, want to talk to you about the challenges of Christians with evangelism. Christians have challenges. Sharik, send a shout of blessings to you, Sharik. Sending a shout of blessings to you. Uh, Sharik Aniston, Alabama. I believe in you in Alabama. All right, blessings to you out there. Please share the broadcast. I would like to know also where you are coming in. All right, coming in from is very important. And uh, please participate. Participate. Let me hear your comments. What do you think of what we're sharing? Because information produces knowledge. And so I'm bringing something for us to you know, brainstorm on this as to why Christians have challenges 
or most Christians, let me not say this Christian, but most Christians have challenges with evangelism. The very, very assignment given to most Christians. Uh, and uh, I want us to look at a couple areas that could be the cure or the reason. All right. I have, I have thought through it, studied it. And this is something that is very important because I believe that if Christians will pick up, you know, themselves and um, spread the gospel of salvation by Christ Jesus, things could be, things could be better. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the mindset, the mindset and understanding of people will cause things to change. Now, the earth is made out of people. You understand? And as a result of the sin of man, a separation came between God and man. However, God so loved man that he then made a provision for man to reconnect himself to he God by sending Jesus. So Jesus came with this message, with this gospel, and after a couple of years, ushered men who have received that to also go and tell the world. If you look at the 20, uh, 28 chapter of Matthew, the last chapter of Matthew, Matthew's account, we see that Jesus gave that, you know, which is called, we call the Great Commission to the disciples, the followers, for, uh, for them to go and do that. They did it and has transcended all the way to where you and I are today. But today's followers, today's Christians, today's believers are not, um, you know, zealous and enthusiastic about this. And I want, I, I want us to th you know, look at a couple areas why Christians have challenges with evangelism. Number one, I think that it, it one one could be the a bad the bad theology of the whole thing, bad theology of the whole thing, and that is because though listen, be, I believe in the sovereignty of God. Number one, that God is able to just do it in, on a wholesale basis. I've often say this that God could have just send or dispatch angels to come to man like he sent angel michael i mean gabriel to um uh, mary to tell mary about you know about the coming of christ god could do that but just imagine just imagine how many how many people will be afraid of even seeing angels thank you scenario i send a shout of blessings to you out there in india how many times do you see in the in the scripture that angel visited you know somebody on earth and they were afraid so imagine imagine that angels are just you know coming to evangelize oh my goodness i mean the fear of it itself it's it's something that um is going to be um something i don't know i mean i i i just imagine that the fear of seeing an angel in that in that way will, will be a mind-blowing thing and so therefore and so therefore God wants men okay who have received this favorable gift of God to share so Jesus says to those who have received go to all the nations of the world and make disciples literally make it as simple as simple as possible by telling the world of what he jesus has come to do for humanity and mankind and so i believe in the sovereignty of god in salvation i believe that i also believe and i'm convinced that if people don't hear if people don't hear and believe the gospel of salvation to receive jesus christ then they will be damned forever. I believe that too. Because if people don't receive it, if people don't hear 
the gospel of salvation and believe and to receive him, then they will they'll be there. I'm going to show you that. Come to look at John, the, um, the third chapter and the 36th verse. Look at John chapter chapter 3 and the third and the 36th verse. Open your Bibles there or write this down. Look at it. It's very important for you and I to understand that. Look at look at look at John chapter 3, verse 36. Why I'm saying that? That if people don't hear and believe to receive, okay, Jesus, they, they are they are damned. They are damned forever. And so watch this now and see what why I'm saying this. Look at John chapter 3, verse 36. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. Hmm? And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life. Now, if you ain't going to see life, you are damned. You are damned for, for, for forever, everlasting. And then, and then watch this. Why? Because the wrath of God abides on him. You see, and so I, I believe that God is a sovereign that he could do anything and because he could do anything he wants man equally to minister to man because you will understand because you have been saved you see and because you have been saved you are to share that salvation message to your fellow man beloved this is the simplest thing that i believe god could ask of a man the simplest thing but yet yet believers or christians do not see the simplicity of it sometimes and and and, and I, I again i believe that we'll be looking at that let, let me let, let me not go ahead of myself so number one i believe that bad theology is number one cause of it now look at uh, what um uh, apostle paul told uh, said to Timothy, come to Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 2. All right. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 2. Come with me, 2 Timothy chapter 2. And um, look at, um, let's look at from the 6th verse to the 10th verse. 2 Timothy chapter 2. The hard working farmer must be first to partake of the crops. Okay. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to the gospel. You see, remember that he says. Remember that. Verse 9. For which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. The word of God is not changed. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain salvation, which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. This is what Apostle Paul was sharing with, with Timothy. You see, that this is, this is there's, I see there's an agency agency in sharing the gospel and so number one i believe that bad theology okay is one of the causes that christians have this challenge of with um with um, evangelism these days you don't even hear about evangelism you hear more of prophet prophetic this and prophetic that or prophetic this or prophetic that you see now the second aspect of of this i believe is fear mm -hmm. a fear of of um uh, rejection fear of rejection because you know well you know i'm afraid i don't know whether how people are going to receive me um uh, maybe some my friends would would think that i'm i'm too you know narrow-minded you know uh, with this you know simple gospel of salvation or you know um a fear of rejection lots of christians are afraid of rejection all right either by losing friends or by losing faith that's how that, that's listen I'm, I'm looking at reasons why christians have challenges 
with evangelism. And therefore, they're not doing it. Therefore, they're not doing it. So number two, fear is why, and, and, and I believe that um, oftentimes Christians are quiet. They are quiet, again, not to evangelize because they are not sure how people are going to receive them. Um, and then also, um, I guess, I guess more, some, pre, some preachers have added so much caveats to the simple gospel of salvation that it, it, it sometimes I guess it, it makes the, the 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 new believer or the new convert get so confused and you get to a place where some I, I mean if you if you if you hear some preacher the way they preach and the way they you know the antics and all these things well if you can't do that the way you see them do, then it makes you feel that, well, you are not called to preach the gospel. You are not called to... And the, we, listen, we're talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ, not the gospel of the preacher, for which antics and, and all these, you know, um, acrobatics and all these things are, are done during the presentation of the gospel. First of all, Apostle Paul says that if anybody preach any other gospel other than that of Jesus Christ, may that person be accursed. So that's number one you need to think about. So when you see, you know, um, your pastor or your preacher or some preachers, you know, with all these antics and the change of voice and, <laughs> and all this <laughs> and all that. Beloved, listen, don't, don't let that, you know, take you off the point. The point is very simple. Jesus. I mean, just imagine that if, if this is how Jesus was, uh, was, was, was presenting, you know, the gospel of uh, the kingdom of God. Okay. And the salvation of man. And that he was whooping and howling and, and all that. I mean, you can you just imagine. So sometimes you sit down and you wonder, where do people learn this thing? <laughs> so if, if you cannot do what do you see some of these people, like I said, preachers have added such caveats, you know, to the simplicity of the gospel that it really, it really takes off. It pushes off a lot of people, believers I'm talking about, Christians I'm talking about, from doing the work of evangelism. And the, doing the work of evangelism is just simply telling people about salvation by Christ Jesus. Look at, look at, um, look at um, Ephesians, look at Ephesians chapter 6. Come with me to Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6 and um, let's look at uh, the 18th to the 20th verse. Ephesians chapter 6. Look at Apostle Paul again talking about this. It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, okay, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, he says, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. To make known the mystery of the gospel. Get that revelation here. For which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So he's encouraging also that you, the believer, you, the Christian, must be uh, or cultivate the attitude of prayer. Prayer will give you boldness to speak about Jesus. He was sharing that as well. You see, so this is very, very important. We're looking at the challenges Christians face with evangelism. So number two, number one, like I said, I believe it's by theology. Number two is fear, fear of rejection and all that. But beloved, I want to remind you know some of you and uh, to tell others about what Jesus says. Come with me to Matthew chapter 10. It's very important that I share this with you. Look at Matthew chapter 10. 
Look at Matthew chapter 10, just so that you have an understanding of this. You see, in Matthew chapter 10, we see how Jesus, um, you know, sent out the, the followers, the believers, the those who were with him, the 12, the 12 disciples, or as we call them, you see, and Jesus instructed them out. He said so many things to them whilst he, he sent them out to the world, as he has done for you and I, or he did to he instructed you and I also today. But watch what he says there. Many, many, many other things. Please read the entire chapter. But I want you to look at from verse 31 to verse 33 what Jesus says. I want to use that, okay, as a case study. He says, do not fear. Do not fear. We're talking about, I believe that fear is, is the second part of why Christians or some Christians or most Christians, let me just go there, most Christians do not engage in evangelism he says what jesus says he says do not fear verse 31 okay that is matthew chapter 10 verse 31 to 33 do not fear therefore you are of more value than many sparrows he, jesus was saying so many things okay concerning when he sent the 12 out and all that therefore verse 32 Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. Please remember that. This is Jesus talking. Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess that individual before his Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Beloved, I mean, I just wanted to remind you that. So if you if you if you say you are Christian and not evangelizing, basically it's telling the simple message or the gospel of Jesus Christ, beloved, this is what Jesus says. And he said that to them. You see, and what makes you think that we 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 different than 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 those he sent? And of course, you are a follower of him, a believer of him. So, so why are you not doing that? So number two, I believe that is fear. Fear is one of which people, believers, don't do that. Number three, I think ignorance is another thing. Ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because ignorance, ignorance would not let you uh, be bold about believing in something and stand with it. Ignore. Please share this broadcast. Like it and share it to 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 believers. All right, not even believers, not non-believers, but believers. Share it to your friends and loved ones. Some. All right. Look at this ignorance. I believe that. Now, some will say, "Well, I don't know what to say when I go out. When I well, I don't know. I don't know what to say to people. Um, 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 you know because." You know, I mean, it's. Don't you think that you know the pastor, the, the pastor must do that? You know that. Um, 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 listen, preachers have overemphasized the simplicity of the gospel. In my opinion, they have overemphasized the simplicity of the gospel. Like I said earlier, they've added so so much, you know, caveats or caveats you know to the simplicity of the salvation message i think so because i mean the, the message is at simple but when all other things have been added and and you know 24 steps to this and 1800 steps to that and 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 and, and you know uh, your 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 tongues your tongues is is so heavily that it makes the, the you know the the, the you <laughs> especially those who cannot be like you or cannot sound like you show off like you they, they, it's like okay that is that is who who god is called you know to to speak about the gospel but as for me no because i can't even speak like that you see so on, on, unless that person you know wants to become like you then they try to learn how do even speak in tongues? Because your tongues is so heavenly 
that man is it, it kills every fly on the face of this earth there are still more flies and mosquitoes down here that the tongues have not killed however because of the antics and and all these things that have been put into the simplicity of the gospel it makes others you know think that now i am not called but who said because the very day you gave your life you received and believed in jesus and gave your life to him beloved you are called to tell somebody else you are called to tell somebody else just imagine that just imagine i've always said this just imagine that um you know a place of worship that seats let's say you know 100 people and that 100 people okay will just go out don't you know don't even go out use that the 100 people who use the social media they will get on the social media and talk about jesus just imagine that just just think about it what do you think will happen just think what will happen we will fulfill what jesus says we should do because everybody must know everybody should know you see so i believe that ignorance is part of the reason let me let me also share what apostle paul shared with the people um in ephesus let me come come with me to um um first corinthians 15 <clears throat> excuse me first corinthians chapter 15 look at verse 1 to verse 4 first corinthians 15 look at it moreover he says brethren i declare to you the gospel which i preach to you which also you received and in which you stand by which also you are saved if you hold fast that word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain, unless you believe in vain. Because listen, beloved, if you if you are born again and you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, don't let anybody's antics, you know, tell you that you you are not born again and and and, and question, you know, your 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 salvation. Because I'm telling you, people can can you know. Preachers, preachers, pre listen, who else if not preachers? The way they talk and the way they make it, um, and, and Norma, I send a shout of blessings to you in your house. I mean, the way, you know, and there's a normal way of, of, of talking, and it looks like when it comes to, you know, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, the voice change. It, it baffles me. I, I have a, you know, um, I know somebody close to 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 me. That um, good morning to you as well. Good morning, Norma. And um, you know, I mean, she'll be talking very nice. <laughs> but, but when it comes to praying, oh boy, the voice. She changed the voice, and uh, oh, oh, heavenly Father. And, and I was like, wait a minute, hey, 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 can you just? come down to earth you are right here just be right here right here why you got to change your voice why do you have to change your voice so you know it, it makes the, the 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 simple believer thinks that oh some people are super they are so close to heaven that they are not and if you and if if people feel like this then they cannot have that courage to evangelize to tell other people you see because no you you're, i mean wh where in scripture do you see that jesus says go out and talk to people about me but when you are doing that change the way your your body your, your you know your body language change your body language um change your voice and and and, and put all the caveats in it and, and shake it and <laughs> and all those things just, just to do what so ignorance ignorance is part of 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 why i believe that most Christians have challenges with evangelism.
because when you see somebody, I mean, whooping and hollering and just all those things, you will, and if you are not, you will think that, well, that is. And that brings me to the next, the next um, segment of this, which is, therefore, arrogance brings this into play. Arrogance. Arrogance in the simple, in the ignorant. Because therefore, you come to the place where you think, well, if that is the case, then I am not called, is the preacher, the guy over there who say he's a preacher or she is a preacher, whatever, or the, the other titles that they have, you know, them for themselves, a prophet, the prophetess, the prophetess, the, 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 the archangel, the, all these, all these titles, this is what, this is, this is who they are. Me, I'm just an ordinary person. I love Jesus. I, I have received him as my Lord and Savior, and that's it. Beloved, that can put you in a place of arrogance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because some Christians who think they, they, are, they are above sharing the gospel, they, they think they are even above sharing the gospel. Why? Because, well, after all, I, I'm, I, I, I go to church, I dress very well, on Sunday and and go to church, you know, give my con financial contribution for those who who do the tithes, you know, and you know my offering whatever special offering, you know, offering one, offering two, offering three, four, five, and six, all that names given to just by giving, you know, money and all that. Beloved, they, they think that well, that is you know, and so. Some have made it a profession, a profession in which this is how they live their lives. Because some, I have to tell you most of the time what you have to hear, what your ears want to hear, and then give me money. And so I'm going to stay here, tell you what you want to hear for the most, most of the time, Meanwhile, you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You believe that he has paid the price of your sins with his precious blood. He has bought you with that pressure. You are, you, 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 you are a royal person. In the sight of God now, you are a righteous person through Christ Jesus. But then this is, you have to continue to go and sit and hear the same thing that, you know, Holy Spirit can tell you directly has to tell somebody else. Because why? It is his job. It is her job. I have to just pay the money and all that. But how about what Jesus says? Go and tell the nations. The nations. Look at Matthew the 28th um, chapter, the 19th and the 28th verse again. Go and tell the nations. Uh, well, the pastor is not telling the nations. He's sitting at the same place where you come every Sunday to meet him or her. So are you obeying what Jesus says as a follower of him or are you disobeying him? The challenges that most Christians have with evangelism. One is ignorance. Look at, um, come with me to the book of Luke. I want to share something with you here real quick. Luke. All right, Luke chapter 5. Look at Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. Jesus, Jesus, um, you know, Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus went about doing good and healing all those who were sick and oppressed of the devil for, for, for what? For God was with them. This is what Jesus was doing. And by so doing, I want us to look at verse 29 to verse... 32 for the sake of our time Jesus Jesus came um, he saw you know what let's pick it up from 27 Jesus saw a, a tax collector by the name of Levi mm -hmm. and this tax collector Jesus asked to follow him scripture says we're going to read that scripture says he left what he's doing to follow Jesus 
But then this tax collector Levi, by the name of Levi, threw a party for Jesus, had a feast. And we saw a lot of people coming around and all that. Well, the, the sanctimonious and sanctified, <laughs> sanctified, you know, preachers, some of them at the time, were saying some things. Let's read that scripture. Very interesting. Look at verse, 20, verse 27. When Jesus has done it, and as a matter of fact, one of the challenges when you read this, you see the, uh, verse chapter 5 of, uh, of Luke, that Jesus was healing people and the, you know, the paralyzed, those paralyzed and all that. And as a matter of fact, the um, a friends of, of um, um, uh, a guy who was sick, of course, carried this guy and they came to where Jesus was. Scripture says that people were surrounded. I mean, Jesus was surrounded with, with multitude of people that these guys could not find any way to get to Jesus. So you know what they did? They went to the roof. <laughs> I tell you. Hey, the faith of people. They went to the roof of the, the building and started moving the roof. They removed the roof and dropped down their friend. They were determined to receive the healing, okay, of their friend. So they dropped their friend there. Scripture says, look at uh, uh, verse 20, that when Jesus saw their faith, he said to them, man, your sins have been forgiven. Jesus said that. Now, look, come with me to the 27th verse where I want to talk to you about. After all that, these things... Jesus went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office. And he said to, to him, follow me. And he left all, rose up and followed Jesus. Look at verse 29. Then Levi gave Jesus a great feast in his house, in his own house. And there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with him. He invited other people. Okay. But... They are scribes and the Pharisees, they murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Then Jesus and Jesus answered them and said, quote, Those who are well do not need a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. Beloved, this is what Jesus came to do. He did not, listen to what he says. He didn't come for the righteous. He came for the sinners and called the sinners to repentance. And that is all you and I have to do. That is the gospel. That is the, beloved, this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. All these other shenanigans and, 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 and acrobats and caveats we have put in, you know, in, in, in added to this is meaningless. And that's why I believe it's one of the reasons that most Christians don't get into evangelism. That's why they don't get into evangelism. That's why they do not get into evangelism. I, I want to show you this again. Look at, come with me to 1 Corinthians, um, 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter, chapter 15. Look at 1 Corinthians again, chapter 15. 1 Corinthians again, chapter 15. Verse 1 to 4. Look at it. Moreover, he says, Brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you receive and which you stand in, by which also you are saved. Underline the word saved. And ask yourself, are you saved? <laughs> if you hold fast that word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. For I deliver to you, verse 3, for I deliver to you first of all that which I also receive. That Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. Beloved, this is all that you have to tell people. And that 
he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to scripture according to scripture how difficult and how 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 challenging is this to share with others how difficult my question is how difficult can this be that you cannot share this with others how difficult can this be this is my question this is my question for you today how can this be a difficult task for you to do that look at look at um finally let me give you this boy my time is gone look at um second second timothy second timothy again look at second timothy again second timothy all right come with me to second timothy let me give you this second one and then we'll be out of here second timothy look at verse one to verse verse five i charge you therefore you believer listening to me this is this is um apostle paul charging timothy who is a believer who knows and have received jesus Beloved, let this be to you and me as well. Listen to his. He said, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearance and his kingdom. And his kingdom. Preach the word. Preach the word, be in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure some uh, sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers. And they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you, be watchful, you, you, you listening to me, be watchful, he says, in all things, endure affliction, do the work of evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Who said you don't have a ministry? Oh, you think ministry is, oh, you have to get a, um, um, a building, decorate the inside with all these, you know, um, uh, discotheque kind of, you know, things over there. And <laughs> I used to go to the club, you know, so I know, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Decorating, you know, with that discotheque and the lights and all that on the stage and all that and just, you know, entice people to come in and, 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 and have this concert stuff. And beloved, you think that is ministry? No. No, that's not. No, that's not. Do the work of evangelism, he says. Why do Christians or some Christians or most Christians have challenges with evangelism we've pointed a couple areas and I believe there's more I believe there's more reasons but it should not be beloved just make it simple because the gospel of Jesus is 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 that simple it's not it's not deep it's not so deep as some have made it or portrayed it to be it is not that deep the simplicity just just think about it the simplicity of jesus coming to save you from eternal damnation and that when you receive him you have eternal life and if you do not receive him you will not have eternal life it's as simple as that it's as simple as that let me leave you with john chapter 3 verse 36 please read it and have a full understanding of it use any other translations it all comes to the same thing if you receive the son jesus christ you will have eternal life if you do not receive him you will not have eternal life you will not see eternal life but rather the wrath of god will abide continually with you i don't think you want that in other words when you receive jesus that old relationship as a result of the sin with man and God still applies to you if you do not receive him. 
But if you receive him, that changes. Because now God sees you through, through the lens of Christ as a righteous person. That's why your righteousness can only be found in Christ Jesus. Your good deeds and all those things does not put you in the place of righteousness. Oh, yeah. Listen, it's a lot of people who don't profess to be Christians and they do good deeds more, way more than even Christians. Good deeds. Good deeds. Let me give you an example. Uh, feeding the poor. You know, um, um, helping somebody in need uh, and all that. People do that. People do that. But that's not what Jesus came to do. Other than that, he, there wouldn't be no reason for him coming. If good deeds is what will put you back in the place where God wants to see you and I as a righteous person. So when you are hearing this today, you are a believer and you have not been telling nobody about Jesus, either because you are afraid of rejection or you think you don't know what to say, people will laugh at you. Or maybe you, because you think, you know, you see the preacher, whether it's your, your, your pastor or any other preacher, the way they do and the caveats they've added into the simplicity of the gospel, you cannot do that. Maybe the way they speak their tongues. Oh, you think that ooh, they, they have reached there. You, you are not. You are a baby. And so, no, that's, that's what the preacher is. And oh, you, they are called. You are not called. Really? Scripture says no one comes to the Father unless, unless he is called. No one. So, beloved, let me, let me just encourage you to do the work of evangelism. What is that? Just, just simply tell people about Jesus. And what you believe that you receive him and what he's done for you. Tell others about him. That's it. And he makes sure that he said that to, to us through the early believers. If you read Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 19th and the 20th verse, after he resurrected, this is what he did. He said, go into all the nations. Today we have, uh, um, you know, a platform called the social media, like, like I'm doing now. I know people in India. I'm sitting in the United States of America and people in, in India, Africa and all that. If you look, one or two people even just, you know, commented. Look at the comment section of this. You see somebody from Ghana, somebody from India, somebody from Jamaica and all that. And I'm sitting right here, reaching the world, the nations. And that's what Jesus says. He said, go into all the nations. Well, I don't have an air ticket. I don't have my private jet yet. <laughs> but this is the platform God has given to us as believers. Use it. I know, yeah, you get on the social media, whether by YouTube or by Twitter or by Facebook or whatever. But use it. Beloved, let me just tell you that that is your ministry use it do the work of the ministry do the work of the evangelist fulfill your calling though it's not cut for a particular person that you have to go and pay or give them money for keeping what the that the, the building you are called to go and tell everybody else just check the scriptures. Where, where did you see Jesus says we should mount up, a, a, you know, that, that edifice? As a matter of fact, one time they were asking, they were telling Jesus, Jesus, look at these beautiful buildings. The disciples was, were telling him, and he says, don't you worry. A time is coming, all of them will not even be standing. No, not even one block will stand on any of these buildings here. Recently, recently, we, we had this, what, COVID-19. They came to a time almost about a year, the whole, all churches were closed down. Most of the churches, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. Did God die? Did it change your faith? Beloved, we, we, we need to renew our minds. Believers, Christians, renew your minds and tell people about Jesus. Now, if you're listening to me and you have not received Jesus, you've heard it, 
that Jesus came to redeem you from your sins and give you eternal life. By receiving him, you will also come to that fold. It is not God's wish that any perish. That's why he sent Jesus. But the option here is, if you reject, you will not have eternal life. If you receive him, you will have eternal life. How do I know that? John account tells me that. John 3, 36. So receive him today. How do you do that? By believing scripture. So you believe him in your heart. And you confess him with your mouth that God raised him from the dead. You'll be saved. Because why? With the heart, one believes. And with the mouth, confession is made to salvation. Your salvation is in you confessing that which you believe. So let's pray this prayer together with all sincerity. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this teaching and message. I believe strongly in my heart that you are the Christ. Forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins, of doubt in you. Now I believe and I receive you in my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. And I make this confession with my mouth that you died. You paid the price of my sins and God raised you from the dead. And I thank you. Amen. Now, I want you to please make sure you, if you do not have a Bible and you cannot afford or find one, reach out to us. We'll send you a Bible. Go to our website. The address is www.patrickquenu Q-U-A-I-N-O-O globalministries.org Patrickquenu globalministries.org You can request a Bible from there. We'll send one to you free of charge. Mm -hmm. Alright? I also want you, those of you who can have access to YouTube, follow us on YouTube as well. Our YouTube channel Patrickquenu Ministries and um, sign up subscribe this way you can get no, no notified when we are live on air and you can also get more messages that will be a blessing to you as well i hope you've learned something today and i wish i look forward to coming your way same time until then like and subscribe and share this broadcast to your friends loved ones your groups and the world but above all Go and tell the world about Jesus by starting with the people around you who do not know him and have received him. The assignment is not for a particular person called a preacher. It's for you who have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And don't be afraid. And as I always tell you, you have nothing to be afraid. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding. I will see you soon. God bless you.